All right. Sometimes we get questions from customers who are installing or considering installation of a new tower, and they're looking at the five or three and a half foot base sections that are normally embedded in the ground, and they are expensive. They're almost as expensive as a 10 foot tower section. So a lot of times we suggest go ahead and buy a 10 foot tower section, insert it into a three or four foot hole, gravel in the bottom so the tower section can drain properly. And that allows you to save some money because you'll now get 10 feet of tower height for the price of either five or 3.3 feet, and you'll have a higher tower at the same price. Uh, the only critical thing about that, any tower section going into concrete, one must be sure that you get the tower section plumbed properly while the concrete sets. Typically that's done by having at least one tower section above the ground that you have uh, some temporary ropes to and you plumb it with typically a level. Make sure that the, uh, the tower section straight up and uh, when the concrete sets, you're in business. You, you can work with that uh, section before the concrete sets. Typically, you would not want to use uh, the early high set concrete like some of the road construction crews do. Uh, typically, standard concrete, you have approximately one to two hours before it starts to get so stiff you can no longer manipulate it. And that's one to two hours after it comes off the concrete truck. Some of the calls that we get from time to time, uh, the people are considering putting up a tower so that it can have internet connectivity. Uh, and sometimes out in the country, that's the best way to get internet connectivity. Uh, one of the things that hams do that does not necessarily be done for uh, internet connectivity, uh, the hams will put up a what's called a Roan 25 AG4 section. And that is a section that is tapered at the top and has a center uh, pole or a center tube that the mass for rotating the antenna can go through and the rotator can rotate the mass. For, for the internet connectivity, you don't need to rotate the tower. You really need to point the, uh, and rotate the antenna that is. You don't need to rotate the antenna. You need to point the antenna at some fixed point where the signal is emanating from. And when you do that, you no longer need a, a uh, expensive uh, AG4 tower section, use a standard 10-foot tower section and bolt the uh, Wi-Fi antenna right on one of the three legs, point it where you need to be, and you just save yourself about 100 bucks. Your internet provider is going to have to give you coordinates to where to point the antenna. Typically, most of the people have told, uh, given a, a compass direction, and they uh, put the antenna at that compass direction, then receive a signal on uh, a signal meter, and then turn the antenna just a little bit to peak that signal reading to its maximum and they're, they're done. It's not delicate doing that. It's uh, a lot more delicate if you were doing uh, like satellite TV where you're trying to aim a dish at a geostationary satellite. Uh, typically five to 10 degrees uh, is going to be uh, the granularity where you're gonna get the maximum signal. Well, certainly most amateur antenna towers need to be guyed because they have quite a load at the top, not only in weight, but in wind resistance. Uh, in the uh, earlier days, all the guying was done with metallic, extra high strength steel guys. The problem with that is the extra high strength steel guys tend to interact with the radio signals. One of the things you can do about that is break up the guy and in non-resonant lengths with quite a few insulators. But the classic way of, of doing that today is use something called Philly Strand. And Philly Strand is a guy uh, rope, if you will, or a, a guying material that's made of Kevlar with an impervious sheath. And it will not interfere with signals at all. However, one thing that people don't often consider is that when you take Philly strand all the way down to your guying anchor point, which is at the ground, uh, you can run into some issues. For instance, if there happened to be a brush fire, that brush fire could melt through the uh, Philly strand, causing a, uh, a catastrophic failure. Or the other thing that can happen is if you have various critters, deer, moose, uh, in fact, one of our 
uh, customers had some problems uh, with his uh, with his uh, horse. Uh, and uh, what you do then is you transition about the 10 feet from the ground, up off the ground, you transition from the Philly strand to the extra high strength guy wire, which is metal, which will not uh, uh, respond to a fire, which most animals will have uh, no effect on. Uh, and the uh, last 10 feet then will protect you from those happenstances. Uh, DX Engineering off offers uh, guy tails, uh, complete assemblies ready with the extra high strength and the necessary insulators to do the transition from Philly strand to extra high strength guy wire uh, to your anchor point at the ground. Extra high strength uh, uh, guy wire and the guy kits are uh, completely non-flammable, will not uh, burn in any way, shape, or form, and are ex extremely uh, impervious to any kind of abrasion or chewing on by animals.